Hello everybody, this is Nick from Arcade-Hunters.com and I'm bringing you another arcade home port review and today I'm checking out Spy Hunter on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now this was a very special request for Cold Guy who had asked to see this game and I had already had it taped on my VHS so I thought why not bring it to you today. And as you're going to see, I am a very poor Spy Hunter player so that I just said screw it and I started the game over. Um, this game originally came out in 1983 from Midway, and it was designed by a man named George Gomez, who created a lot of great arcade games and pinball games. He even created the Pinball 2000 that came out in 1999 that was pretty much designed to reinvigorate pinball and sadly didn't work. Now, this version from Sunsoft is a poor version of the game. The collision detection in it is very bad. There's a part where you can actually get dropped off by the weapons van on the side of the road and pretty much just skim along the right-hand side of the screen. And you can even go over water with this. You don't really get points for it, but you can just keep going and just it it just makes a, it just breaks the game. So, as far as home ports go, this is not a very good port. It was ported to a ton of other systems, including the Atari 2600, which one I own, and it has a really good old-school quality to it. I just love how uh, blocky the graphics are, and hopefully one day I'll be able to bring you the home port review of that. Now, the car that's in this game was originally supposed to be George Gomez's 1983 Camaro Z28. He loved the idea of having that car as, like, the super-secret spy car that he could go through and have machine guns and missile launchers and stuff like that. And originally, they wanted to get the theme song from James Bond, and they weren't able to, so they ended up getting the theme song from Peter Gunn from Henry Mancini. And it works so much better in the game, and, you know, other than that, it's a classic arcade game, and I suck at it. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll have more videos for you here at arcade-hunters.com.